Here we have the power pack, which is a Hutz diesel, and this is equipped with an overspeed valve and also a spark arrester. On the same skid we have the hydraulic unit and this is the control for the sludge nozzle. Hydraulic this is the and this is the control for the solar road pump itself. We have a gearbox to control the speed. So this is the control for the solar road super suction pump. We have, as you see here, in neutral position. In normal operation, I will then engage forward and the pumping continues as normal. If there is any problem with the pump, for example, a too large debris enters the pump here, I can then switch to reverse. The reverse will reverse the whole pump and then the debris can be discharged outwards. This is the internal of the Solarol Super Suction Pump in a resting mode. So we have no pressure on the internal suction hose. We let the hose rest. Now we're going to compress the hose to create vacuum. I'll take this special tool and place in. Compress all the way and now I have compression of the hose which will allow me to get vacuum. Two bolts here and I lock the vacuum in place. is a normal standard cam lock using a standard straight nozzle for sludge or also oil spill soft and flexible three inch holes and with this I can work freely connecting the sludge nozzle is also with a normal cam lock. For oil sludge we have a very heavy pressure so we need a good standard OSD 150 hose at least. Very heavy, very durable. For oil spill we can also use um, a fire hose. This is the cellar oil tank entry system and hose management system. The suction hose runs underneath the tank entry system, which has a slider where people and equipment can slide in and out of the tank. This is for convenience and also for safety. We keep the outside of the tank clean and the inside of the tank of course is dirty. Inside the tank we have a very heavy hose full of sludge. This hose is almost impossible to manage and keep in mind on the ground here we may have a lot of sludge and oil. We suspend the hose in the hose management gantry system. The hose is very heavy but still it's very easy for me to manage the hose. And I can work the entire tank. The hose management system will allow the nozzle man to work freely and the hose will follow the worker inside the tank.
As this area of the tank is clean, I need to add another section. The suction hoses come in 6 meter sections and so does the hose management system. And by adding this section in modules, I can reduce the amount of hose I have inside the tank. So I start with 6 meter, continue by 12 meter, 18 meters and so on. It's very easy to set up the hose management system while inside a tank. All these pieces are folded and modular. Let's have a look at that. When it's time to extend the hose management system, we add another section of hose. We need more gantry system. We can pass this easily from the outside of the tank to the inside of the tank. Inside of the tank, I have a minimal work to do, like so. Tighten, tighten, ready to work. One more section and a crossbar.